All right, howdy, folks. Happy Friday. We have made it to the end of the week. And that means the work is out of the way and we can try and wrap up. Killer frequency. Um, I kind of forget what was happening. I remember that Maxi died and I was devastated and nothing else really mattered. Um, but we we're gonna go get some employee numbers or something and we have to use floppy disks much like this and I'm going to feel very old. Uh, so let's give it a try and see how it goes. I also realized I was incorrectly calling Virginia the killer last stream <laughs> instead of Don. I meant Don just for the record. Um, but yes, uh, I'm a little nervous about how this is gonna ramp up and I think I've got about an hour left, maybe one, two hours. Uh, hopefully it doesn't get too spooky. We'll see. As my controller shakes ominously. All right, game, let's go. Let's do this. I don't think I figured out where I was supposed to go, actually. I picked up the key. I have my emotional support toaster. I've kind of forgotten <laughs> the buttons because I haven't played in a few days, but I'll figure it out as I go. Um, so where is this office? Reggie's office. I just assumed it would be up here, but I guess not. I want to know what's behind this You're door. Not in there tonight. Why not? Ugh. What secrets does it hold? All right, well, I guess I'll go downstairs then if there's nothing else. Did I see a door with like a tie icon? Maybe that's like the big boss office. It's weirdly quiet. I should have put some music on. Can I do that with this? Nope. Okay, I just didn't put any music on at all. That's probably why. A uh, creepy back room that I don't like. Is this it? This must be it, right? What a creepy place to have. <laughs> I want to believe. <laughs> what a creepy place to have your office, though, right? I'm just gonna... Can I close this? I'll feel safer. I don't know why. I just feel very exposed with my back to the door here. Never mind. Okay, well. Uh, first aid to the injured. Oh, certification for your job. Okay. That's what we got here. I thought that was an Among Us for a second. No, no, that is a rocket ship. I'm very tall. I'm on a box! I didn't know you could stand on boxes in this game. Well, there we go. I was like, why'd I get so tall? Uh, what are these? What are these? Can I read these? I don't think so. Okay. And below it came Scorpion. Laser Racer. Ooh. Are you there? Are you there, Peggy? Peggy? Hey, Peggy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Did you find what we need? Um, I can't figure out how to get into this stupid safe. No worries. We still have a little time. Reggie writes almost everything down somewhere. I'd recommend you start reading. I'll have a look around. You're probably right. I'll let you know <laughs> when I find something, or don't. Just like, ugh, reading. Best boss. Please insert floppy disk. Or please start. Can't read. Nope, please insert. Okay, never mind. Looks like I need a four digit code. A four digit code, huh? Okay. Keep like jumping on stuff and it's freaking me out. I would love to grab this. It's hard to see where my cursor is. Acts forever. Need to write pitch documents. Good title. Bring back original protag and fill in. All right, let's drop that. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's this one? I want it. Ask Jeannie where those tapes are. It's been weeks now, overdue. Okay, I'm just gonna drop these all over the place. Just gonna snoop through everything, Reggie. Your secrets are mine. Clive, if you're reading this, stop stealing my post-it notes. <laughs> okay, what's up here? Alien Sightings, number 75, UFO, over park. Huh. Alright. I meant to put that back up here, sorry. Uh, what's this? Okay. Receipt, nothing too notable there. 
What is this wow? What are you reading? Exclusive. It's all about the he said, she said, babe. <laughs> okay. Reggie. You with your magazines. Okay. Uh, what else have we got? Some drawers. Some drawers. Oh, there's my floppy disk. I'll look at that in a second. Empty. Can I get this last one? No. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. I got it before. Am I too far back? There we go. Got shell. Okay, now we're gonna put that in here. Get me remembering how to do stuff. Could this be it? Deep cuts, top secret pizza delivery killer who kills with a pizza cutter. Free slice on me. <laughs> Terrifyingly, there is never any pizza. What happened to the original delivery guy? Maybe write him in as a final girl's boyfriend? Question mark. Protagonist is college student Megan, surname to follow. She's smart, beautiful, resourceful, and lactose intolerant. <laughs> Amplifies the divide between her and the pizza killer. <laughs> what is this novel outline? Takes place on 1107, very important date for the town. Great goose gathering. Event where a large number of geese appear suddenly and save the town from starvation. Try to link this into the greater story. <laughs> Need to kill off Megan's support network throughout the movie, like Act 3, but even scarier. Maybe partner with Ponty's Pizza for the launch? Question mark. 110 orders. Just receive a pizza cutter and tickets to the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any comment on this. That's not like you, Forrest. Okay. Uh, are there other floppy disks? And he's just gonna creepily crawl around on the floor. Don't worry about it. Should I tell Peggy about this situation? Peggy, you're not gonna believe what Peggy, I found. I still have no idea how to open this safe. Okay, okay. So let's change our thinking. What if we? Hello? <gasps> Is anybody there? Uh oh, Casey. Oh no. Casey, I'm here. What's wrong? Oh no. I don't have um I don't have options. Oh, okay. Did he have booze earlier? Oh no. <laughs> uh let's see if I remember this cuz it's been a few days. Uh-oh. I think I still have my notes, but I remember we were talking about shock, so we need to elevate his legs. Uh redirect blood flow to eternal eternal I did it again to um crucial organs and then Try and keep him awake and alert, reassure, keep him warm. Yeah, okay. God, it sounds like he's going into shock. Casey, just stay calm. It's going to be okay. But the bleeding seemed to slow down. Did I mess up? Jason, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's Casey, okay. calm down. You've done everything right. I I need you to listen to me, okay? For Jason. For Jason. What did the nurse say to do about shock? Elevate his wounds. No, leggies. Casey? I need you to elevate Jason's legs. We need to get the blood flowing to his body. Vital, that's organs. the word I wanted. Got it. Jason, stay with me. I, She's so you. reassuring. I love Casey. Okay. I propped his legs up on some boxes. I'm looking at my notes. We need to get Jason as warm and comfortable as possible. Do you have anything you could use nearby, Casey? Yeah. That's a good idea. A I wonder if my choice of using the jacket versus the laundry mattered here. No, no, no. Just put a, a new one over. Uh, apply an additional bandage. Do not replace. Don't remove the bandage. Apply another one on top of it. Do you still have something you can use? I'm using the laundry to keep it warm. Uh-oh. So, I'll use the cleaning rags on the car. I hope they're fresh. Oh good, okay. <laughs> That's like contamination. Ain't <laughs> tired, how's it going? Happy Friday. 
Well, it seemed to work out okay. Hopefully, I just really hope they're clean rags, because that could be a problem otherwise. I know, you're doing great. Oh, please don't. Um, be strong for Jason. I don't know what else to say here. I mean, we've done all we can, so. Casey, I need you to be strong for Jason. Sit with him and reassure him. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, that's okay. right. Okay? No. Oh no, the vacuum upstairs. I thought it was done. Sorry if you can hear that. <laughs> I'm gonna mute for a second. <laughs> Can you hear it now? It's right above okay. me. Oh, it stopped. Never mind. Again. 25 Nancy Drive, right? Yes. Thank you, Karen. I really owe you one. You're looking for Jason and Casey. Thanks. I'll head over there now. We'll talk soon, okay? Good luck. Hello, Casey. Are you there? How are we doing? Bad. I waited like an hour thinking it was done and then it started up again right above me. Sorry. Um, I was not paying attention to the dialogue. Whoopsie. Anyway, let me catch up. Going good. Ordered books and a coloring book yesterday. Oh, good! I know you were looking for some. Are you happy with what you found? Excited to actually try and read something. <gasps> Very lovely. Happy librarian noises. Well, I hope you enjoy the books and especially the coloring book. They're very magical. Um, how is he now? Let's focus on... What about now? Is he still thrashing? Casey, help is on the way. My colleague will be there soon. Help is on the way. Someone is coming. You're going to be just fine. Just hold on for me, okay? Just hold on. You got Come this. Come on. She made it. I admit I kind of oh forgot. Boy. Hello. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna need you here, Casey. It's gonna be all hands for this one. Okay. Forrest, we'll call you back later. Okay, Back's good luck. Now. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. Don't die. Oh, God. I hope he's gonna be all right. <sighs> and with that, the show moves on. We're sending our best wishes to Jason. Now there's music, but that doesn't solve my well, problem. after all that excitement, I think we could use some music. I mean, I didn't find the safe stuff, though. I don't know what it wants me to do there. Moderately excited. I researched so much. Definitely felt like a ninja. Happy research ninja life. Bring in noises. Is this the same group as before? Yes, yeah, so this is the dude that got stabbed in the stomach and the leg. And we tried to give first aid as best we could <laughs> over the phone. And I wasn't expecting that to pop up here, so. Hello, Chan! It is spoopy game. It's it's kind of designed after like 80s thriller slasher horror, so it's not too spoopy for me. There's been a couple too spoopy for me moments, so, but overall, it's been fine. <laughs> I think I missed a stream then. It might have been, yeah. It was, I'm trying to think. We, there that incident happened, and then I think we, um accidentally let the killer into an apartment complex and then a dog died and it was very depressing um that's where we're at oh wait there's a thing right freaking here oh my god hint very important date what does that mean oh wait 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 that we saw that here hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on <gasps> i have brain power there he was streaming bioshock for eight hours straight on sunday oh, that's boy. such a long time i uh, peggy i'm busy Spoiler alert, I adore Bioshock. Nice. I've never played it. I was there for, uh... I, I raided in, and then I forget how long I was there actively for, but I was lurking for a good chunk of it. Heard it's a good game. 
Uh, okay, very important date, 1107. Hmm. What song should I play? Forrest, you're not even in the booth right now. Yeah, yeah, that, that happened. Okay. Uh, oh, oh goodness. Oh gosh. Please, please, please. I hope this doesn't time out because it's gonna. Piggy, shut up. Nice. What did I find? Oh, I found a. <laughs> That's a lot of floppy disks. <gasps> oh no. Okay, hang on. This is illegal, you know. <laughs> this is illegal, you know. Is this? Is. <sighs> time for some music. I don't understand game. Did she just call Karen anyway? Because I did the buzzer. I'm so confused. <gasps> I love you, Chan. Welcome on in. Put a record on. Did I just like somehow accidentally call Karen and I didn't? I skipped the objective somehow. I don't get it. What happened? I just have a guy put the music on for me. Shut up, Forrest. I'm busy. Forrest Nash. I don't understand what I did. I didn't mean to drop that again. Peggy Weaver. Play a record for us. No, I'm busy. Hey, Mr. DJ, put a record on. All right, hang on. What happens if I put this in here? I don't understand how I just, I think I just skipped this Ask somehow, and I don't get how it happened. I better put a record on. I no, I have things to do. Eject, eject, eject. All right, well I'm bringing this with me. I don't know if this is what I needed, but no, that's the wrong set of stairs. Don't want that. Hmm. It it yeah. I've been subjected to more Madonna than I care to admit. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> For me, with my parents, it was mostly, because I grew up in the Ottawa Valley, it was mostly country, so like Shania Twain, Garth Brooks. It was probably some Madonna. All right. Although I would have needed to put this in to get the number. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to put you on the floor because I'm tired of thinking. I'm going to grab this one, sure. Hmm. Da -da -da. Jenny Rogers and Johnny Cash are good. The rest, eh. Yeah, it's one of those things where I'm like, ugh, country. But the second I am at home with, at a family gathering and someone blurs <laughs> country over the radio, like we all go nuts. So it's like, you pretend to be annoyed, but somewhere. Inherently in our lifeblood, it is there. One of my favorites. Okay, so I... Pretty late. Objective, I don't this understand. Last break for the night, so try to enjoy it. How did I skip that? You go back on I air. don't understand how I skipped that. <laughs> there, was like, there was probably a whole thing where I was supposed to like go grab the appropriate floppy disk, get the number, but it somehow just like knew what to do and I don't understand how. Can I throw this? How do I throw this? There's an objective to do this. How do I... How? Oh no, the vacuum's back. I hope you can't hear that. Modern country at work made me want to unalive the sound system. I agree. <laughs> How do I throw... How? No. I have to figure this out before I go. I have to... Well, I hope that's not the end of the game, because, like, I was budgeting for an hour. <laughs> I was told there's a bit more to the game when I ended stream last time, so hopefully we're not about to just end it here. That would be slightly awkward. Okay, you know what? <laughs> How do I do this? Got her. <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm supposed to throw that from my desk. There's got to be a way. Nailed it. Heck yeah, I did. Now how, but how do I aim and throw it? I'm pressing all the things, because that just drops it. 
I'm trying to do the placement button, but if I try and drop with that selected, it doesn't do anything. <gasps> Game, how do I do that? Maybe, maybe this will tell me. Gameplay, control op, control options? Oh, show controls. Place, interact, slash grab, throw object X. Okay, okay. Are you sure? I swear I tried that. <gasps> oh my god, I figured it out. Did I get one? Saying I didn't. Where'd it go? I don't... <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is there a Chivo or something? Probably on the uh, Steam version. I'm on Switch, so sadly I don't think I will get it. Although I get... Uh, yeah, it has them here, so it's tracking them, but I'm just not getting an achievement link to it. Yeah, because I'm on Switch. Oh, I was so close. I did think about uh, getting this on Steam maybe for next year so I could try doing some different runs and different options and hopefully save more than... <laughs> what did I get? Like eight people? <laughs> Which actually is not bad when we consider my capabilities. But the dog died and I'm not okay with that. Mm -mm -mm. Switch actually free from achievements that's based in. <laughs> some, uh, some games have like an internal achievement system that was way too far. But nothing like uh, what Steam has, at least to my knowledge. Why you deny me? Like over here. Oh! <gasps> I got one! Okay. We're good. We're good. I'm ready. I'm terrified. Let's roll. You got it. We've got another call. Oh no. Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. Okay. Maybe it'll just be Casey saying that I helped save oh, Jason's we have life. Call coming in, but hang on. Hang on. What's up, Peggy? Peggy? Girl? What? Peggy. Hello. You're gonna want to take this call off the air. Oh no! It? Just do it. All right, folks, it's time for another track. What does Here's that one mean? To help you sit back and relax. We'll be right back after this. Blame Half Life Two, Episode Two. Oh, that's very specific. I had to carry the gnome to the rocket at the end of the game, and I glitched out and disappeared. Oh, it glitched out. Oh no, gnome. <laughs> that's so sad. Right at the end, too, huh? Uh, we're not going to introduce... Like oh, yes, we are. <laughs> uh, I hope this is good news, Peggy. Who have we got? I feel like it's not. Find out for yourself on line one. Why are you being so dodgy about this? This is very bizarre. Hello? Forrest, I'm glad I got back through to you. Sounds like it's been a busy night, I was just going to say, is the chicka... Oh, I was going to say, is it the chicka from the start of the game? <gasps> So good to hear from you. Are you okay? Oh, that's a relief. I am. I'm driving back with an Don't die. From Henderson now. I feel like I'm gonna die. We've been listening in, but haven't been able to get through until now. Weird. Uh, it's been a long night. You have no idea. It's very unimpressed. I can Ever see why. That's Sheriff soul crushing. Matthews, it's only gotten worse. It's been a long night. Yeah. Well, it shouldn't be too much longer. Thank now. God. I'm glad I got through. I wanted to let you all know what's going on. What's going on? I made it to Henderson. Okay. Turns out somebody had cut the phone line, <laughs> and they had no idea what was happening. After I told them, well, their sheriff sent a goddamn squad back with me to stop. I was gonna say, I hope That's you have more than one person. <laughs> That's crazy about the phone lines, though. Are you really surprised, you though? Man after everything that's happened today. Though, I don't know how he, how she, how the whistling man did it, but that doesn't matter right now. Listen, we're coming in hot, but we need your help. I know Gallows Creek isn't a big town, but if we don't know where the Whistling Man is, we can't get him. Her. That's where you come in. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> haven't we helped enough? What do you need? You can count on us. What do you need? Can you, though? I feel long shot. I don't agree with that statement at all, Forrest. The Whistling Man already called up a few times. I bet she calls again. 
We're still a little ways out of town. So if she calls, stall her. Stall her? Buy as much time as you can oh, for no. us to get in. And while you're talking to her, try to figure out where she is. We'll be listening in. Talking. So once I can do that. <laughs> we'll head straight there and end this night. Okay. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. I know you will. Heck, I can see the headlines no. now. Boris Nash's interview of a <laughs> lifetime. Anyway, I'll radio the other cars and tell them the plan is a go. Let's hope I'm not a Hopefully corpse when you get I here. Be with our killer behind bars. <laughs> Take care now. Okay, we'll bye. See you soon, Leslie. I'm glad you're okay. Oh, thank God. It sounds like this is almost over. We're nearly through this. Nearly. I hope. You're right, slash, I don't think it's going to be that easy if this is where I'm at, honestly. Uh, first it was Whistling Man, then confirmed Chi. Man, I missed an important stream, I guess. A lot of things happened last time, um, so yes. It turns out the Whistling Man is in fact a lady named Dawn, and we may or may not have led her into an apartment complex that helped aided her quest to murder, but, you know. It's, we're just not going to talk about that and focus on what we can do next, <laughs> and it's going to be fine. That's nice to think, Peggy, but I don't reckon Dawn is going to give up without a fight. She probably won't give up without a fight, no. But neither will we. <laughs> now, let's get you We? Back like you've done now. anything? <laughs> that was mean. When you're ready, you shut the music off. Sat in your... Cult, it's cult, already off. The <laughs> there's, there's definitely something happening here. Um, you've just been sitting in your cozy, comfy room, Peggy. I've had to do all okay, the dangerous, well, scary stuff. I did. It's off. What are you talking about? Is it? No, it's not. I'm a liar. I couldn't hear it. Also, speaking of things I couldn't hear, I had all I these sound effects. Off. No, I'm... I can't hear what that one is. I think I clicked that one and I didn't hear it. But I could have, like, done all these silly things. Let me turn this up. Okay, Forrest. No, shut Peggy, the music I off. have priorities. <laughs> like, I could have been doing this all along to mock the killer or whatever. When you're ready, <laughs> shut the music um, off. So, missed opportunity there, but if we play this again next year, I'll try and make better use of the silly soundboard. Okay, back to mission. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Mm -hmm. Can y'all hear that upstairs? <laughs> I think the vacuum is back. I don't know what is happening. Turn the music off. Bring hey, the I'm sorry. Now. Welcome back to the stream with me, Forrest. <laughs> I forgot I had that on there too. But before I get to our next caller, I just want to say things are looking up. Careful. It's almost over. But for now, let's bring in our next caller. Usually when the cleaning lady comes, I knew she was coming today, but usually she's done by like one or two, so I was like, I should be safe. Clearly not. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Forrest? Casey, is that Casey. you? Casey. Are you all right? Forrest, it's That was very well timed. Um, is he okay? What about Jason? Is he okay? Hey. <gasps> He's going. No, what oh, happened? Jason. Your friend. They tried everything they could. What? They said he just lost too much blood. Oh, damn it. I'm sorry. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute for two seconds while that passes overhead.
Okay, well, I think it's moved to the adjacent room instead of the one directly above me, so we'll just do our best. Sorry if that comes through. Like I said, usually this is way earlier in the day. Maybe they're in on the murder cult. <gasps> it was the cleaning lady all along, and we suspected the janitor. That blood is hard to clean. <laughs> She'd know all the ways, wouldn't she? Oh, I'm so sad about Jason, though. Like, I guess the order of what I selected did matter. That sucks, so I shouldn't have used the jacket to... Here was my thinking. I was like, you could wrap it around as kind of like a tourniquet to stop the blood flow from being too intense, and also use some of it to cover up the wound, but maybe that was a bad choice, because presumably a jacket would have bacteria on it, too. So maybe I should have done the laundry, because that would have been clean? Ah, damn it. <laughs> we lost another one. Casey, I'm... I'm so sorry. I'm so, I thought I, I had that one in the bag. Gone. No, you did, you did everything you could. You both did. I'm sure oh, Jason rip knows Jason. That. Thank you, Forrest. I really hope so. You did awesome, hey, just guys, so you know. I'm really sorry, but there's a call on the other line. <laughs> We're sorry to interrupt your grief. Sure we don't have another situation brewing. It's all right, Peggy. Oh. I understand. Do what you need to do. Thank you, Casey. Oh, I'll be right Casey's back. This is so great, man. That he died from blood loss, yeah, so it's like, I guess the jacket didn't staunch it enough. Either that or uh, the stomach wound. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Okay, well. So, Forrest? Yes. yes. Before Jason passed out, I, I asked him Oh, that's important. And I think he knew <gasps> who attacked him. Tell me more. Yeah. Tell me more, he tell me more. He said it had to do with a boy named George Barrow? He mentioned him, the boy who drowned. I guess I... That's what Jason said. He said that George died during... God, what was it? Whistling night? Some kind of prank night. And that the person who stabbed him wanted revenge for George. Casey, are you absolutely sure this is what Jason said? Yeah, I think so. Jason still seemed with it when he was telling me. So I don't doubt what he said. Did you say Jason told you who the whistling man is? He did. He said it was a woman. Uh huh. They went to school together. Somebody called Mer What? M what happened? Are we still? Well, on that's air? terrifying, game. No, we're not. Seems like the power is oh no. How do we get it back on? I don't. Uh, oh, we can use the emergency. Of course, it's in the frickin' basement. I'm gonna die. Oh no. Emergency broadcast? I don't want to go down there. We can end this nightmare. I mean. Oh, of course it's in the far back corner. I don't want to. Remember when I. No, remember when I explicitly said I don't want to go back in that room again because I felt like I was going to be chased at any second? Frick off. Big red button. See you You'll see me when I'm back. I don't think I'm coming back. I <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. Okay, let's just save. I really hate that they're making me go back there. I really, really, really hate that. Oh, Peggy, can you come with me? I'm scared. <laughs> okay. I've got my toaster. It's so... Like, this escalated way more than I'm okay with. Oh, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. A big red button. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Now it's creepy and dark. Oh, my gosh. Should I, should I turn my TV down? The volume so it doesn't freak me out? That uh, was not this one. It was the other one. I, I don't want to, game. I don't want to do that. Oh, I hate this. Please don't jump scare me. Please, 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 please. Uh, alien isolation? I'm not familiar. Is that terrifying? Oh, I hate it. Far back corner. Why is this station so big? <laughs> throw up everywhere. <gasps> I 
It's auto saving. Oh my god, just go, just get it done, just get it done, just get it done. I don't remember how to get out of here. That must be it. Boom! Oh, we've got power. Getting out of here. No piss off. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Get away from me. My heart is pounding. Get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. Get me out, get me out, get me out. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. My blood pressure just skyrocketed. Get me out, get me out, Piggy's gonna be dead. No. What was that? I'm so scared, guys. Piggy. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> Peggy, where did you go? My heart is pounding. <gasps> <laughs> what do I do? I, if I have to run, I swear to God, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh yes, yes, yes. See no more stalking. Hate that. Also hate this situation. No, 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 can't be happening. No, 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 no. Oh, piss off. What are you, what are you doing? That's so dramatic. Get out of here. Bye. A call. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. Just leave. Get Dawn, I'm sick of your shit. Get out of here. Okay, let's. Ugh. Did Don press the Peggy button? Did she want me to hit it on my end? Where is Peggy? Where's Peggy, Don? Have some patience, Forrest. It's almost the end of the night. Almost the end of the show. <laughs> it's not over just yet. We've got a little time still. Oh. So let's make no. it. No. What do you mean? What do you mean? Make the most of it how? Well. Huh? Oh, I thought we'd end tonight's whistling man special with a special guest. Huh? The one who started it all. Oh, let me take that out of your mouth and What? You crazy bitch. Teddy. Let me go. Welcome to the air, Mr. Teddy Gallows Jr. Wait. It's all gonna come out tonight. What? Teddy. Your daddy and his money saved you twenty years ago. Wait, where the hell is Teddy? How, how are you talking to him if you're here with me? Because I'm not there with you, Forrest. Uh, then who's this? Teddy. Is this Peggy? That is. Well, he knows he'll get it. Then who's here? Wait, then who am I looking at? Forrest Nash, let me introduce you and all. No of wonder you're able to move so fast. There's multiple. I, 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 this is a lot. I, I'm sorry. This, this is a lot to take in. You've got no idea. So there were two whistling men tonight. That makes sense of now. That I guess it's not Peggy. That's reassuring. Town so quickly. Yeah. Uh, did you say barrel? That are you? Let me just get this mask off. Marie Campbell? George's old girl. Oh, well, it sure has been years since I <laughs> He's like trying to sword. get out of this. Oh. oh. God <laughs> damn it. Um. Uh, quiet, Teddy. Where is this going? We're not done, huh? Uh. This, this is just. We, we need to, um. We need it to stall, uh, Leslie said. So what's the easiest way to stall here? Uh, where's this going or not, Dawn? Where's this going? Where are you going with all of this? Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. He killed George that night. This night. 20 years ago. Listen to me. You... Ah! You're gonna talk when I talk to you. 
getting bitch slapped to hell. And you're never gonna talk again, Forrest. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god, what does that mean? Well, let me help. <laughs> I'm stalling. No, wait, uh, I can still help you. No, oh, thanks. No. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Henry, honey? Oh no, He's no, no, yours. I'm blocking the door. Hey. Piss off, minute. piss off, piss off, off, piss off, piss off. Don't come any closer. No, no. I'll let Peggy know you. No, 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 no. <gasps> Oh no, Peggy! I'm scared to look at the screen. Mm. I've got a toaster and I'm not afraid to use it. I'm very afraid to use it, please get away, get away! <laughs> oh no, we got the bad ending. That's a lot of stabs, bro. Okay, that wasn't too bad. The worst part was being down in the basement. Well, damn it. I knew we were gonna be dead. Oh, look it. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at all the people we did not save. Is that Peggy on here? Ooh. Ooh I'm actually gonna look at this because I want to see all the people. like this. This is good. Ponty's Pizza! <laughs> Hello crowd! Yes, let me get you up to speed. So here's a summary. Um, we just got stabbed like 10 times. Peggy is presumed dead, and I mean, it's a bit more balanced than I thought. When I managed to save all those teenagers, there was like 7 or 8 of them? That really balanced it out. The saddest part is that the dog died, and I'm devastated. Hot Dave made it out. That matters to me. There's, uh... There's Roller Ricky. I'm sorry, man. You are the best guy of all of us. I was sure I'd save Jason. Like, I was so confident in my mediocre first aid skills. <laughs> oh dear. So where am I? Is this place? We'll, uh, we'll let this play out and then I'll see if I can look around or not. This is a great track. Well, that took less time than I thought. I don't know how I skipped that, uh, I think I skipped that initial floppy disk puzzle somehow. That would have added a bit more time. I could have done this, uh, last stream. Ava. I would definitely play this again though. The jump scares are not that bad now that I've gotten through it. <laughs> I don't know how different it would be if I managed to save other people. Um, that was manageable. Look for other stuff. Also, I might have to buy this soundtrack. This was a bop in time. Why can't I open this? Is it because of you? Probably. That was really fun. I, would, I wouldn't mind playing this again next year. I might try it on Steam though, just to see if uh, I presume I could use a keyboard and mouse. That might make it a little easier to maneuver. Ooh, what's in here? I don't know. Get in there. Get. 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 <laughs> Too many bodies. <laughs> no comment. Um, why can I not? There we go. Is there anything else in here I should look at? Lots of mannequin parts. Not a fan of that. Um... Pop. And this came out, what was it, 2022, 2023? It's a more recent game than I thought. 
But I would love to see more like this. This is like manageable horror for my levels, so if I could find more games like this to uh, play on stream, that would be nice. Wonder. Feel bad leaving. Open the door to skip the epilogue. Oh, and credits. Ooh, there's an epilogue. These ability testers. Just gonna grab a drink. I think I've earned it after all this. Ah. Uh, delightful. Oh, hello. Is Leslie gonna show up and just be like, everyone's dead? Oh, that's it? Wait, no epilogue? I continue, does it just go back to my last save? You told me there is an epilogue. I wanted, I want to see how Leslie reacted. <laughs> I guess that's it. Well, rip everyone we couldn't save. My character included. Oh no, I'm here again. No, I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna, I'm just gonna leave. I don't want to deal with that again. Okay, well, there we go, folks. That was our uh, first attempt at Killer Frequency. Could have gone better, could have gone worse, but I had a great time. I really appreciated the goofy humor that was uh, inherent to a lot of horror flicks at this time. And I enjoyed that. That was nostalgic for some of the things my cousin managed to cajole me into watching as a kid uh, that slightly traumatized me, but it was fun. And yeah, I can... I, I, I appreciate the aesthetics, the uh, the musical piece. I could have played around a bit more with some of the uh, options that were available at the DJ set, but that's okay. We have something new to try if we play this again next year, and uh, hopefully we can save more people. <laughs> um, I'd be curious to see, I, I assume there's an ending where you could get a perfect run and save everybody. Uh, so I think that would be nice to strive for if we uh, revisit this in uh, next October. There we go. I didn't really have anything planned after this, um, so I think we're just going to keep it as a short stream. And this weekend will be our dive into the quarry. Uh, Standby and I are going to do a test run tonight. I was able to get my subscription figured out for PS Plus um, and multiplayer. So hopefully that's all good and running, and then we'll just need to set a time, and then I will cry, and it's going to be great. <laughs> Shortest stream. Yeah, I know. It's like <laughs> so used to it going into four or five hours these days. It's weird to be on the other side of less than an hour. <laughs> I think my shortest record to date was probably when I did uh, Chicken Journey. And that was like, I don't know, 30 minutes. And then the game ended when I was expecting a whole other stage to last like two or three hours. Like, well, I guess we're done. Let's play some theater rhythm. <laughs> Which I would do today, but I'm a bit worried about... Uh, more noise upstairs, so I don't think it's really worth continuing stream just in case. Uh, but yeah, that's all right. We can do short streams. I need to go eat dinner before I do some trial testing with standby, so I will do that. And then, uh, yeah, it'll probably be early afternoon Eastern time, I'm guessing. Well, again, we'll figure out the specifics. I'll put a post out in Discord once I know a bit more, and then we'll go from there. It might be a one-off, it might be multi-stream, depending on how I feel I can psychologically handle that, but it should be fun for all of y'all, at least. <laughs> okay, uh, let's find somebody to read. Or I might just be a butt and raid out. Uh, and, and raid out and leave is what I meant to say. I'm tired, can you tell? Friday afternoon streams after... A week of work always are worst for my brain. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think we'll just leave it there, everybody. So, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for experiencing this game with me. It was a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed it a lot. And I'd love to revisit it again. So, until then, I wish you all a great rest of your Friday. And we'll talk to you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye!